So this didn't work out so well when I built this prototype vise, and I'm gonna show you how I fixed it. So the jack style on the prototype was just for fun, just to see if this even worked. I wanted to experiment with a hydraulic jack or some sort of accessory that you could put back here. This design for this jack was purpose built. We cannot accommodate any other accessories. But the problem I don't like about it is that the jack handle is just too low, which means I can't hold my object in the jaws and pump the jack. So on the production version, the 208, the function of this pump isn't necessarily for extreme clamping forces. It's for quick movement. So let's say that this part is a component where moving in and out of the jaws quickly. We're blacksmithing, we're forging, we need to get into the jaws fast. It might be red hot, or we might have a production run of something to do. That's what this thing's for. So we'd flip this over, we'd squeeze, we pump, we hold, do our operation, come over here, flip the switch, part comes out, new part comes in, flip the switch, repeat. So part can come in and out of the vise really quickly. If you need extra force, you can always use the handle. And as you can see, we could squish this two by four to oblivion if we wanted to. This hand wheel also sets the limit that it opens. So right now I'm gonna pull the wheel all the way back and I'm gonna release the jack. See how far it opens? So we only want it opening a little bit. Now every time I operate the jack, it only has to move a quarter inch, okay? And look at where the handle is, so nice and comfortable, right? It's just right here. It's not as awkward as the bottle jack was. So on the production version, we added this pin. This pin hole up here, it's a two inch hole, and that way you can bush it down or make a normal pin that goes through here. Now you have a lot of distance to be able to create your own accessory, kind of like a PTO in the back of a tractor. If you want to use a bottle jack like this one, you can make something. We just have a normal cylinder in here with a little hand pump for quick jaw movement. If you want to use an airbag like off of a truck to have some quick movement in there, a standard air cylinder would probably just work just fine. We've provided a provision in the hole here to be able to do whatever you want. So as you can see, I solved a lot of problems with the prototype with this production version. Do you need this vise? Well, let me say this. If I had the opportunity to use the bench vise or this one, I always choose this one just because it's more convenient. I can access both sides. I can get all the way around it. I have more work holding options in between the jaws. 2026, this thing will be available for you guys to own and be able to put into your own workshops. So if you guys have any more questions, please leave those for me at the Fireball Tool Forum. I'd be happy to answer them. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.